So, so we're in Wanganui, um, just opposite Motua Gardens, outside Wairiri House, and this is the the building that housed the, the police computer, um, which apparently had 100 staff working on it, three floors of computing power. Um, and this is the building that yeah, housed the surveillance apparatus of the police that Neil tried to tried to destroy, tried to interfere with in 1982. And I suppose for me, uh, you know, Robert's Day seems more relevant, relevant than ever before, um, just because of the sort of the increasing surveillance. That we're all aware of, yeah, and the um, what the implications of that are for protest, I think, and um, yeah, just people's inability to to make sort of political gestures in the same way. Hmm. Yeah. Like, I don't know. For me, just thinking about the what's happened since 1982, where things have gone since then, and just this infrastructure that is capable of more intense centralization of information, which leads to centralization of power than ever before, and the lack of checks and balances. It's like the situation has only gotten worse in terms of the sort of totality of state power um, since 1982. And I don't know, the last few years have been pretty interesting, just really realizing that this communications infrastructure that all of us use every day, I mean, the internet and the phone networks, that every single word can be monitored. And that's just a situation that would have seemed like some crazy dystopia a few years ago. I guess, I guess, I don't know, what's the most important message that comes from what the all did? It's tragic, isn't it? It's an act of desperation, it's an act of not knowing how else to affect change when they are consistent. You know, what do you do? You know? I don't know. I don't know. Would I have the guts to do that? Would any of you have the guts to do that? Is that guts or is that coming out? Is that, is that bad hurting from feeling like you don't have a connection? I don't know. However, Um, uh, yeah, so we've, we've come back today, so we're going to have a picnic in the park, or if the weather isn't so crap, maybe we'll just have a picnic down on the beach. But um, it's to, I guess, highlight how relevant this is today, and his actions, and how it's more and more every day we have um, surveillance on people and on the community, and just our lives, so our privacy is going out the window constantly. It's mass data collection. Not necessary. thing for me is if that becomes normal people being born now are born into a world where where privacy just like doesn't exist where it seems legitimate for the state for a centralized authority to have like to have that control that power over people um, and that's I don't know that's a terrifying place to be and I think we've all got a responsibility to do whatever we can to raise awareness about it and to resist it and not only the state but um, profit maximizing companies as well have a right to our private information. Before Neil Roberts um, set off the bomb, he uh, spray painted in the toilets across the road. Just um, over there. Just over there. 
um, a, a message in black spray paint that said um, we have maintained a silence closely resembling stupidity and it's still very very relevant today the more the I guess the grand sense of apathy that we have in our society especially in this country yeah is overwhelming <laughs> Thank you.